Welcome back to the 2014 Motorhome of the Year Awards at Woburn Sculpture Gallery. We're counting down the very best fans of the year with the help of Practical Motorhome magazine. In the shortlist for the best family motorhome, it was reassuring to find some really traditional layouts vying for top honours with the latest that the industry has to offer. And the winner proved that if it ain't broke, you don't need to fix it. Of the winner, our judges said, in a marketplace bursting with innovation, it's reassuring that such a traditional design still works so well. The proven layout is simplicity itself, not one but two lounges to choose from making this van a great choice for a family of four or more. The winner is the Swift Escape 686. Next up was the best budget buy under £40,000 and a victory for the Chausson Best of 10, a Gallic offering priced at just under £38,000 OTR that offers excellent value for money. Chausson was back on the top step of the podium in the best coach built for four category for the impressive Welcome 717. Could the French firm make it a hat-trick with victory in the best coach built for two? Of the winner, our judges said, top quality build and plenty of intelligent design. This isn't the most affordable low profile you'll see on the roads, but its sheer quality means it'll be around for a long time. And its whopping payload means this flexible motorhome will meet your needs for years. The winner is the Heimer Exis T588. German built Heimer vans are offered to the UK through a select dealer network. We got our first proper glimpse of the Exis T588 at Premier Motorhomes in Chichester. Exis T is a new range of compact, low-profile motorhomes from the German giant Heimer. They launched last autumn at Dusseldorf's Caravan Salon and they tap into the growing appetite for smaller, lighter vehicles that offer better fuel economy. So let's get straight inside and see what they've been up to at the factory in Bad Waldsee. Now we've seen a lot of genre bending over the past few seasons as manufacturers play with the accepted definitions of what constitutes a vehicle class. But what about if you cross-pollinate between genres, which is what Heimer has done with this Exis T range. It's taken some of the thinking and the desirable qualities from the A-class range, Exis I, and has brought them into a more affordable price point. The 588 is an out-and-out -out couples van. It has twin fixed single beds at the rear which can be basically joined together with an optional cushion to make a massive double bed. Up at the front it has two belted travel seats plus the option of another additional cushion which can basically make a third berth if you need it. Now there are storage options of plenty in the 588's rear bedroom. The most impressive of which is this wardrobe. It basically just lifts up, you can load your stuff from the top, pop the lid back down, put the mattress back into position, reassemble the bed, fantastic solution and very space efficient. Opposite on the other bed just under the foot there is another locker and in a wardrobe right next to the end of the bed there's a hanging rail at the top which gives you half a length drop and shelves underneath that. Now while we're here let's just reacquaint ourselves with why this layout is so popular. Well it's because the twin fixed single beds offer both occupants uninterrupted access to the washroom at all times. The midship's washroom is compact but very well put together. There's a moulded shower unit that can be sealed off from the rest of the space which is essential because there's so much wood in there. You get a plastic moulded sink, two mirrors, which combine well to create a feeling of space that's much bigger than the compact dimensions of this actual room. There's a blown air vent to keep you warm and toasty but the thing that I like most of all is the loo roll holder. You basically open a locker door, pop the loo roll holder in there, feed it through to the other side and it's ready just when you need it. A fantastic piece of German engineering. Now this isn't the biggest kitchen you're going to find in a motorhome but it's got all the equipment that you really need. Three gas burners under this flap next to that sink. Overhead storage there and under the sink you have three pull out drawers which are incredibly useful and more practical than cupboards. Why is that? Well you can pull everything towards you so things are close at hand and these handy dividers mean that you'll never lose anything. One of the best things in the one at the bottom is the fact that you have a bin in there. Why have it in the habitation door when you can have it in a really convenient place like this? Now equipment wise you have a combined oven and grill and a fridge with separate freezer compartment all arranged to the right hand side of the kitchen. So in this kitchen we have loads of things that you can actually use to get the job done and everything close at hand at your fingertips. It'd be very difficult to lose anything but if you think you're going to run out of preparation space there is one extra ace in the pack and that 
is this extendable flap that goes up at the end of the sink unit. The Hymer Exis T588 costs £54,790 and is based on a Fiat Ducato running on a lowered Alco chassis. This year's awards included a new category for best luxury panel van conversion to acknowledge an exciting new product segment that's come to the fore in the past couple of seasons. Praising the winner, our judges said, from a renowned base vehicle packing all the extras you need to the well-equipped kitchen and comfortable lounge, this is a motorhome that truly delivers on its design brief. Well conceived and executed, it comes in at the £50,000 mark, which seems a suitable price to pay for such luxury. The winner is the Auto Sleeper Kingham. We took the fabulous Kingham on several tours and discovered that this is a motorhome that truly delivers on its design brief. Regular viewers may remember that we have already had one to look at, but we haven't had one to look at under touring conditions. That all changes today as we're up in Yorkshire looking at the Kingham. Moving inside, we have a cracking front lounge. It's an extremely sociable space, especially in the sense that you have a two-person sofa here. You can open the door, you can look out at an amazing view. In fact, you can invite some friends and family around, spin these chairs around, you can put an occasional table in here. So it's an extremely sociable area with a lovely ambience. Now, if you're buying an auto sleepers motorhome, you're buying a certain kind of quality and the cabinet and the fit and finish in the Kingham doesn't disappoint at all. Those lockers, two-tone, chrome infills, very well made, very well screwed together and they don't budge an inch when you touch them. The other good thing that Auto Sleepers has done here is limit this van to a two berth. They haven't tried to put another bed in here or another berth, they've just kept it simple. This van is for couples and I think that's why it works because it's definitely quite spacious. Now when is a fixed bed not a fixed bed? Answer, when it's in the Auto Sleeper Kingham. What do I mean by that? Well, as you can see, the bed is currently in a raised position. You push it back during the daytimes to increase the floor space, and it also gives you a handy place should you want to go and read something. At night times, you pull it towards you, you flatten the bed, and then you have your 40 winks and comfort and style on a memory foam mattress. And when you're not using the bed for anything to do with sleeping, you can pull it up and you've got a cavernous storage space underneath that I reckon you could probably fit a small horse in. Now the Kingham's corner washroom is certainly cosy, but it has everything you need. There's a shower, a loo, a sink, vanity unit, two mirrors, and even a blown air inlet. So you'll always be comfortable when you're doing your ablutions. Moving further forward, we have another great innovation in an auto sleepers motorhome, the drinks cabinet, which also comes with a set of four crystal glasses. Now this is a touch the auto sleepers has been delighting its customers with for many years. They come free with every auto sleeper. There's a couple of other options that don't. For example, on our test van, we have this air conditioning unit from Truma in the roof. A couple of colleagues of mine on Practical Motorhome took this very van over to Spain and Portugal for a 10 day tour and they found this an absolute godsend. There are other ways you can pimp up your Kingham should you so decide. There is an options list, well worth having a look, just in case there's a few things on there that you think you can't live without. It's got loads of great touches and things that cooks really appreciate. Three gas burners, a combination oven and grill, a nice deep sink to wash all your pots and pans afterwards, fridge with a removable freezer compartment, and everything you can just look straight outside with the door open and enjoy the view. So cooking can, doesn't have to become a chore, it can become something that you really enjoy. And there's also a microwave oven if you actually just can't be bothered. But one of the other things I like most of all is this handy retractable three-way socket strip that just pulls up neatly from the worktop, everything mounted at 90 degrees so that trailing wires aren't a problem. It's a fantastic solution, very space saving, and in the overall context of the van, it just shows that auto sleepers are thinking through all these small details all the time. The Auto Sleeper Kingham starts at £49,200 and is a lot of van for the money. In standard spec, it's packed full of interesting features that will definitely be very useful when you're out on tour. There are lots of added goodies as well that we've had a look at. There's an extra specification on this van, like a wind-out awning and a few other refinements inside that we've looked at. The Kingham is a fantastic addition to the auto sleepers portfolio, but more importantly, at the consumer level, it brings a fixed bed into a panel van conversion, which is great news for people that don't want the hassle of a make-up bed. And the slightly smaller dimensions of a van like this mean that you can take it to places you couldn't get into in a coach built. So from that point of view, that's an added bonus as well. So if you're looking for something that's slightly smaller, more fuel economical, easy to drive, easy to park, then something like the Kingham should definitely be in contention. 
As ever, picking an overall motorhome of the year from the categories was the hardest task of all. But this year, our judges were lucky enough to have one truly standout candidate. Our overall winner doesn't just compete like for like with its rivals, it actually redefines the accepted notion of its vehicle class. The standout feature may be up top, but down below you'll find no end of clever thinking. It's a van that turns heads and is a great advert for our pastime. A fantastic achievement for British design and manufacturing and a formidable return to a market segment that this brand hasn't had a presence in for some years. The overall winner, our Motorhome of the Year 2014, is the Auto Trail V-Line 600. And that completes our awards for another season. We've already begun testing the new for 2015 vans in preparation for next year, and we'll be bringing as many as possible to you here at the Motorhome Channel.